Hey there. If you've been working with Camtasia for any length of time, and especially if you have larger projects, you might have noticed that Camtasia's performance gets pretty slow when you're working with long videos. I have an example here on the screen, and this one actually started out with about 32 minutes of captured screen material, and I've edited it down to about 19 minutes at this point. And you can probably see that as I try to scroll through there, it's reacting pretty slow. And part of the reason for that is all the edits that I've made, you can see the many places where I've cut down the video, I've cut out bloopers and other bits that didn't need to be in there. I wanted to show you the reason for that and also a fix that you can use or at least a workaround to get around that. Let me go to the actual project folder here and you can see the project file right here and notice the size. It's just over 44 megabytes in size. That's because for every one of these edits, it has to record that in the file. I'll go ahead and open it up in a text editor and show you what the file looks like. That's a JSON file and it records everything that you do with the video as part of that file. So because the project is so large, it's gotten to that size and it's having to work with that entire file. So that's why it's reacting pretty slowly. And this is actually an older version. So let me just go ahead and make an edit. And even as I try to click around here, you might notice it's a little bit slow. Let me go ahead and select just something at random again. This is an old version that I can throw away and do a ripple delete. And look how long that takes. As you can imagine, that gets a little bit tedious to work with, especially as you go further and further through the file. So the solution to this is actually pretty simple and it's called divide and conquer by some people. And what it involves is simply working with the project in sections. If you have a longer project, especially if it's 30 minutes or more, you should probably be dividing it up into scenes anyway. So what I did to solve this is to take chunks of the project, save them to an MP4 file, and then re-import the material from the finished file. And I'll show you what I mean right now. Let me go ahead and select a portion at the beginning of the file. I'll come over here and I'm going to select just say the first eight minutes or so. You see this is reacting really slow. You probably want to remove any transitions. You can see this one and I'll try to zoom in here. Even that goes pretty slowly. You can see there are a number of transitions applied, so I'm going to end the selection in one clip that doesn't have a transition applied to it. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to select Produce Timeline Selection As. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring up the production screen or the production wizard and I'm going to choose MP4 only up to 1080p. Next. And then I'm going to set a production name and new folder. And then I'm just going to click finish. And that should take just a couple minutes. Okay, and that's finishing up now. And let's go ahead and Click finish. And what I'm going to do is actually delete these sections. Now you probably want to make a backup of your file first, of course. Let me go ahead and just delete those. Not going to do a ripple delete. And again, that's taking a while. Now what I'm going to do is import that MP4 that I just made into the library. Okay, import media, part one. I'm going to take that and use that to replace the portion that I just deleted. So that fits right in there. Now what this does, and I'll go ahead and save the project. Now remember that it was 44 megabytes. 
Now that's actually still just under 44 megabytes, probably because many of the changes were in the later part of the video, and it's still going pretty slow. But we've only worked with the first seven minutes or so. So if you're going to do this, what I would do is work with segments of no more than, say, 10 minutes at a time. Now, I want to show you a finished version of this, just so you can see what the finished result looks like. And again, what you would do is replace each, say, 8 to 10 minutes with a produced version of that segment of the video. So let me go ahead and switch to the finished version. So this is actually the completely finished version. And as you can see here, it has a lot of additional elements such as a music track and all the completed enhancements. I've opened up this group which contains the sections of the video that I produced. As you can see, it's divided into four sections from the old file and it's also running quite a bit faster when I move across the file. You can see the performance is much better and let me just, as a demonstration, I can undo this. So let me go ahead and cut out a section. You can see how fast that worked. Do a control Z to undo that. And if I go to the file folder, you can see that the actual file is very small. It's quite a bit reduced in size. Let me go ahead and open it up. And you can see that's quite a bit smaller than it was. So it's much easier for the program to work with and hold in memory. So that's a basic workaround for the performance issues that you might see if you're working with larger projects in Camtasia. It's a little bit more work, but it will certainly save you a lot of time over having to wait for each action to process. So I hope this has been helpful, and I hope you'll check back for more videos on Camtasia and programming and other subjects. Have a great day.